Hello and welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. I'm Emmy Kate, a young but passionate knitter and crocheter. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're looking for me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Etsy, Ravelry, and Pinterest as the Graceful Tangle. On Ravelry and Etsy, you can find and purchase my knit and crochet patterns. And also on Ravelry, you can find the Graceful Tangle podcast group and join in on all the fun chatter we have going on over there. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love it if you took a moment real quick to subscribe to my channel and then don't forget to hit the little notification bell so that you get notified each and every time I upload a video. So today I want to talk a little bit about my newest design, the Seashell Saber Pouch. However, before I do that, I want to thank each and every one of you who used the coupon code last week to download the Dapple Basket. If you missed it, here is what the basket looks like. Um, you can find this pattern in my Etsy and Ravelry shops, and I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. It's a super quick basket that uses jumbo weight yarn and a large hook. It takes little to no time to make, but it is so useful. So I hope you go check it out. So today, my newest pattern is the Seashell Sabo Pouch. So here it is, in all its beautiful fun glory. So this little pouch is perfect for holding your seashells or your kids holding their seashells when they're at the beach um, this summer or any summer or any time you're at the beach. <laughs> um, so it's perfect for walking down and putting all your seashells in this little pouch instead of having to hold them in your hand or putting them in a Ziploc bag. It's just a fun place to um, hold them that isn't your hand. Um, and it keeps the, the sand from going everywhere. It's just a super fun little pattern. So this pouch is made from the bottom up. You start right here and you increase to make the, to, um, finish the circumference of the pouch. And then you work your way up to form the body. And then on the second to last row, you add holes, um, using chain stitches to create the drawstring. And then at the end, you make a big long chain and weave it through so that you're able to cinch it up at the end. So you can find this pattern in my Etsy and Ravelry shops. If you use the code BEACH, all lowercase, in the coupon code box on Ravelry, you can get it for free for the first week of its release. And I truly hope you go and check it out and um, make it for yourself. So I'll be sure to link it in the description box below for both Etsy and Ravelry. And I hope you, I hope you go check it out. So thank you so very much for watching. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with any questions or comments you may have on this pattern. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye!